remember that we're discussing the key point that for communication to occur, your target audience must be willing to engage with and process the information. Remember that that willingness is based on assessment of benefit to cost. So you choose. Say you have a lot of choices of something to do in a day. You can sit and read a book, you can go to a movie, you can go to a baseball game, or you can take a walk somewhere. Which would you choose? Now, obviously, you can't see everybody else in the classroom, but it's possible that some people would choose the book, some people would choose the movie, some the game, some would choose the walk. The point is that the benefit to cost analysis is personal. What does that mean for us? You have to know your target audience. You have to know who you're trying to reach. And that audience is not you. It's never you. You will always know more than your target audience, whether they're the same demographic as you or not. So don't design for yourself. There's a great line out of Funny Girl, and this is, of course, maybe a generation back, and you haven't seen this. It's Barbara Streisand and Omar Sharif. But she's a Ziegfeld girl, and she's becoming a star, uh, Fanny Bryce. And uh, Ziegfeld comes into her dressing room and says, you're going to sing this song. And she looks at it and he goes, but this, this song is I Am Beautiful. And he says, yes. And he goes, I, I can't sing that. I'm not, I'm not beautiful. I, I can't go on the stage and sing that. And he says, you will sing that. I'm the director and I say you're going to sing that. Well, if you haven't seen the movie, <clears throat> what she does is she stuffs a pillow under her dress and she goes out on stage looking about eight and a half months pregnant. And she sings the song, I Am Beautiful. And there's these great cutaway scenes. The crowd is rolling in the aisles laughing. And then back, Ziegfeld is standing there with his arms crossed, his shoulders hunched, and he is clearly furious. Scene in the dressing room afterwards. She's sitting there, he comes in, and immediately she's all apologetic. Oh, Mr. Ziegfeld, please, I'll give me another chance. I promise I'll never do that again. I'll never, ever do that again. Just give me another chance. And he goes, no, you will do that again. You will do it tomorrow night, you'll do it the next night, and you'll do it until I tell you to stop. And she goes, why, did you like it? And he goes, no, but the audience did. In the end, it really doesn't matter whether we like something or not. What really matters is if our audience likes it well enough to spend their time on it. Classic error, we subconsciously assume that people are like us, so we design that way. Interesting story that somebody from the BLM told me that they had a problem with riparian areas, people making social paths, you know, going down to the, to the stream. And so they put out these brochures on fish biology to explain to people why they shouldn't go make pathways down to the stream. Doesn't that grab you? You know, something on fish biology? I'd certainly pick that up and read it, wouldn't you? Not a chance in the world. And they weren't. Nobody was reading this. So they did a little bit of study and they found out that their target audience were anglers. They were making paths down so they could fish. And so they changed this, you know, from talking about fish biology and their phrase was, let's stop talking about fish and start talking about fishing. And when they started about tr talking about trying to improve the fishing, suddenly all the anglers were paying attention. Point is, you have to start your audience where they're willing to start. And then you can take them anywhere you want to go. Well, not necessarily. You have to keep them interested, but you have to start where they're willing to start. And it means you simply have to know the audience that you're trying to reach. The more audiences you try to reach with a single strategy, the less effective you will be. Why? Think about that. So you're trying to design a brochure and you want to reach everyone. Well, what do you have to do to reach everyone? you're gonna to have to compromise your design. If I wanna design something for a specific person, I could study that person, figure out what they really considered benefit, what they considered cost, and design something that would grab them, hold them long enough, and communicate with them. But the minute I actually try to design it for somebody else who's not the same, I have to take space away from what I'm giving this person and dedicate it to trying to do something that this other person will like. So you're constantly diluting. Every time you add an audience, you're diluting the benefit to each audience. So if we're talking about ratio of benefit to cost, every time you lower that benefit to cost ratio, you lose people. 
So if possible, you need to design for a specific audience. Find out what they consider benefit and cost. Time to go to the next video.